Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to install Windows 2000. This was an operating system released in the year 2000 along with Windows ME. Windows 2000 was aimed at the corporate customer whereas ME was aimed at the domestic customer. We will speed up the bits in between and explain the settings as we have to put them in. Okay, we're now into the Windows 2000 setup. We are not going to do a repair because we're doing a fresh installation on a blank drive. So we're going to press the enter key. Then we have to agree to the user agreement by pressing eight. Now we're not going to create a petition. We're just going to press the enter key and that will do it automatically. And then we're going to format it with the MT file system. Windows 2000 was an operating system for business use. It was able to run on desktops and laptops and was able to run applications and connect to the internet and access files on the network and printers and network resources. Microsoft released four versions of this, a desktop version for use on desktops and laptops, a server for general use, an advanced server for line of business applications and a data center server for high traffic computing networks. So uh, off we go, we're back into putting information in. So apparently this is going to detect all of our devices and set them up. point we get to set our regions. We're going to set this to the United Kingdom and the only language that we want installed is Western Europe and the United States. Okay and the keyboard that we want is the United Kingdom. We need to set that as default and then we will remove the United States. Okay, we won't remove the United States because Windows NT won't <coughs> allow us to. Okay, so we're going to press next here. Okay, so this is the point at which we have to put the product key in. We're going to use T6 D 3 T. 62 R M F M C V D Is that an O or a C? Q Q, okay V B P T D Q, Q, V, 2. Okay, so we have to give the computer a name. We call it Pewter. We need to set our time zone appropriately. We are Greenwich Mean Time. It's now going to set up any networking components we may have.
to write that CD code on the CD. Okay, so it wants us to remove the CD and press finish to restart. Okay, so at this point it wants us to identify ourselves. There we go, Windows 2000. Let's discover Windows 2000. What me to put the CD back in? Now you'll see here with these icons and the layout of this, it's still very similar in looking to Windows uh, Windows 98. Okay, I'll put the CD in. What do we have in the way of add-on components? Oh, all the networking and everything. There we go. I'm going to my computer here and uh, it actually tells us, it actually recognises what the processor is. You definitely see some NT stuff here that you will see within Windows NT. Not a lot comes on it, no games on it. Oh, sorry, ignore me. Yes, there is games. We have Free Cell, Minesweeper, Solitaire. It's pretty much as you would expect for Windows 98 and uh, the later operating systems. Earlier operating systems even. Yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Okay, so now we're loaded into Windows 2000. It comes with um, you know documents, computer, networking places, the original Internet Explorer and the option to connect to the internet. There's a few little bits and pieces on it. You've got some games on here, magnifiers, screen utility, oh, the old CD player and the sound recorders and the original Windows Media Player. Gotta open that just for nostalgia. 
Um, seems quite snappy. I mean, it is running on quite a powerful computer. A disk defragmenter. You know. Well, there we go. What screensavers we've got on this? A little look at the screensavers. Just because. Flying windows. Maze. Pipes. Plumber's Nightmare. We've still got the staff. Oh, the Starfield simulation now has got um, windows on it. The default screensaver. That was boring. I don't know about you, but I feel like I should be playing Wolfenstein with this one. <laughs> there we go. And various different backgrounds and the like. So that is Windows 98. That is Windows 2000. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please watch the others in the series. Thank you.